This is Kirk at strutmasters.com. We're doing a rear conversion kit on a Porsche Panamera. First, you want to place the vehicle on a hoist or jack stands. Then remove the air lines of the airbag. As you loosen this, uh, some pressure will come out, so be careful. Then you want to support the lower control arm with a jack from underneath. Then remove your bottom sway bar end link bolt. Sometimes the sway bar gets stuck on the bolt, so you might have to maneuver it out. Then remove the bolt from the lower control arm to the knuckle. So you might have to put pressure on the on the knuckle and and wiggle everything to get the bolt out. Then you can remove the airbag from the vehicle. It should compress enough where you can remove it. Then you want to remove your two upper shock bolts. And then remove the shock from the vehicle. Next you can take the bottom puck assembly and insert it into the control arm. There's also a smaller puck underneath. And then use the hardware supplied to tighten the puck assembly. Place the supplied rubber isolator on top of the large end of the spring. Place your new shock into the vehicle. You want to tighten the the top shock bolts first and leave the lower bolt uninstalled. Next install your spring with the rubber isolator on the top. Line up the bottom of the spring on the on the lower control arm puck and then jack your control arm up into place. You might have to move the shock and the knuckle around as you lift up the lower control arm. 
Once the control arm is lined up with the bottom of the shock, you want to reinstall the sway bar and shock bolt. But do not tighten this bolt. Then you want to reinstall the knuckle bolt, which the knuckle may take some movement to get lined up. Then you can tighten both the knuckle bolt and the shock bolt at the same time. Then your Strutmaster's install is complete. <laughs>